Okay, here we go. Volvas. I'm super excited about this. It's October 14th. And yesterday, I thought of a plan. Um, <laughs> something I suddenly became really passionate and enthusiastic about. It's because I finished this hot water bottle cover for one of my friends for her housewarming. And because she said that she never had a hot water bottle before, which for me is like unimaginable. I need a hot water bottle in my life. And then I started to think how it would be so fun to have a variety of hot water bottle covers or hot water bottles. Oh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> so I was thinking of doing a vulva one. Everything related to uh, periods because I think that's just so fun and I think that everybody should have a hot water bottle in their life and that I want to do something more creative with my knitting and I also think it's a perfect opportunity for me to also support a good cause um, because I find it really important uh, to also talk more about period pains, period like cramps, everything um, that has to do with periods yeah, I suddenly became really enthusiastic. I texted one of my friends about it and she was like, oh my god, you need to do this. Uh, so we will see how far it will come and if I will actually end up going through with this plan. <laughs> I'm super excited about it because I already made a second, it's almost finished this one, a second uh, hot water bottle cover. They knit up pretty quickly. It takes me uh, like three, four hours-ish to um, make one, like uh, the cover at least, then I need to still do the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm super enthusiastic about it and I'll just take you along in the process of how this thing is going to come to be. <laughs> okay, last night I actually finished uh the first one well i have all this one is a bit too long so i do need to shorten it because i was kind of perfecting um the design but i think it looks <laughs> amazing i like it a lot <laughs> and uh it gives me a lot of freedom to work on it so that's really cool yeah it's really getting out of hand look at the amount of yarn that's now over here i need to find a new way to store it because this is like a basket that it's in but and there is like boxes everywhere like mm, it's getting out of hand but here I also have um, two other ones that are already finished in different colors here's me in my messy room uh, and yeah I'm now also working on a new one in a bright pink here are some of the designs that I made um, like very quickly they, they, they look a bit like bottles for um, washing liquid stuff but yeah so yeah I have like of course the vulva one I want to do a one with the uterus one with the pad um, a trans or non-binary one I think that's really nice as well um, yeah so these are some of the sketches I'm not sure which one I will actually end up making another day and I'm feeling a little bit sick so sorry for my voice and sorry for the way I look but I tried to make myself look somewhat decent after laying in my bed for a couple of hours but I've made so many hot water bottle covers already well they're not finished completely but I'm gonna show you because I'm super excited about them also I'm in the midst of exam week so I probably shouldn't be busy knitting but knitting is my therapy so I'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> Okay, I'll show you. Ah! I'll show you which ones I've made, which colors. This angle makes me look super small, but... <laughs> okay, wait. The floor is a bit dirty, so I hope they won't get too dirty. But I'll wash them anyways. I've made 
one light pink one one darker pink one a uh, lilac white another another white which i can't really show you because then things will fall off and another pink one so there are six in total now i think i want to eventually maybe make 10 but yeah i have six of them now and oh, i also already made one two vulvas mm, i'm super excited about this um and my other one is the one that I couldn't completely show. It's with the uh, blood drops. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna sew them on right now while I am gonna be watching the news because I have an exam in journalism in two days from now and I need to be caught up with all the news from now. So that's a perfect occasion for me to do some knitting project stuff while also feeling somewhat productive. It's been so fun. They are the perfect short uh, project and it feels fun to finally make something that hopefully I will be selling very soon. Uh, I want to, to address, actually let me put this away because I will otherwise drop it, the whole part about selling my crochet and knitting work. Um, because as of now I've started knitting in, knitting one year ago and crocheting about like seven months ago I guess um, up until now I have not sold anything yet because it w was too time consuming for me and I still feel very nervous about choosing what type of price is suitable um, and I have to say that I'm not completely sure yet what I will end up going for eventually um, but I do know that I really would love to make also patterns for this even though the pattern is really uh, simple. When I was a beginner, I loved following patterns, so I think it could really help. And soon I think I will be asking for testers as well, so if you are uh, interested in doing that for me, you can follow my Instagram and keep updated on all the things that I'm making and that I am working on uh, at the moment. So yeah, I am going to sew some blood drops on a hot water bottle cover. <laughs> wow, I'm, my life is crazy but yeah I like doing this kind of stuff and I can show you up close as well look at all of them there are six of them right now there are already two beautiful vulvas laying around here they gathered by the sea sand people anxiously not once did speak to me when tides came did not flee the east spoke the same not to be dramatic but i wanna die this bitch here they are they're all finished all ten of them the only thing i have yet to do is sew in one uh, a label but yeah they're looking gorgeous they're literally looking so nice i'm gonna take the pictures for them right now to sell them on my etsy and i'm super nervous uh about selling these <laughs> i don't know i think i also wanna uh do a giveaway for one of them but yeah, they're really looking great. I'll show them a bit more. Okay, here we go. So yeah, let's take the pictures. morning uploading all the pictures on my Etsy shop and uh, yeah I'm very nervous about this I have uh, in life a lot of fear of failure uh, so I'm trying to remind myself again that this is something that's fun and that if it's not working if nobody buys anything then that's fine as well uh, but it feels a bit scary to take this step and to 
start selling. I don't know, it's uh, scary but fun at the same time. But as always, thank you so much for all of your support this year. Um, it means the world to me, like really, I still can't believe that so many of you are always supporting me. That's amazing. So thank you for watching. See you next week because I'm getting kind of consistent with uploading. So that's great. So see you next week. Have a lovely day. Stay safe and do it. Spend the nights, the days to stay